Today's challenge is the repair or replacement of the LCD screen on this Niegu Kika Mix, a brand that is uh, strangely unknown to me. Well, let's see what we can do. Firstly, I've removed the card holder for the SIM card and the memory card. Now, there should be two screws in the bottom here, but somebody has already kindly removed those for me. I never like to work on equipment where somebody has obviously had a go and failed. As we can see here, it looks like somebody's tried to lever the, the screen off. The next thing to do with those screws out, I think, is to remove the back cover. Finally, it is released. I'm quite sure why that was so difficult. I guess the first thing is to try and remove the battery. This cable here it appears to be a camera. Put that to one side. And once again, there's a screw missing here, it looks like. And that will be the battery connection there. Sometimes an old credit card will enable you to get underneath the battery. We haven't damaged them. And we have a cable here which should just pop off. I think we can take out this board if we remove those two screws. You can see there's a small ribbon cable here which must be for switches or something. That little tab just lifts up. This again feels like it's stuck down. Once we have those removed, we can then get to the attachments for the screen and the digitizer. Again, that is, is loose, so somebody has been in here before. Small plate there holding the ribbon cable in place. So again, another small ribbon cable here. Just flipping up the tab there. And that then comes out. So again, this board is stuck down with some tape. Just have to remove that. Now I think we're in a position to be able to remove the screen itself. And to do that, I'm going to put it on the bed of my 3D printer, which is heated, heated up to around 90 degrees C for a few minutes, and then remove the LCD and digitizer. Hot off of the printer bed, I'm just going to remove the screen now. It was pretty loose anyway, because somebody had already had a go at it just carefully going around the edge there and prying it apart. With the screen removed we can now clean up the edges to make sure there are no fragments of glass left and finally just cleaning up the lens of the front camera there. I've now received in the post the new screen and all looks good but the first thing we need to do is to test it before we stick it in place and make sure that it's functioning otherwise we won't be able to return it and I notice also that uh, the home button needs to be swapped over let's do that make sure when you're fitting this board that the little ribbon cable for the home button goes in there's a white line on it which should just go to the edge of that clip down connector and also note that the microphone is sitting under there. That little rubber piece has to have the hole facing to the front. Now I'm just going to replace the little bracket that keeps those in place. We have enough in place now to be able to test the screen. Let's just connect the battery up. Not sure if the battery is charged actually.
that's a good indication that the screen is working. Obviously the battery was completely flat, but the screen looks good. And I have no idea, but we know that the screen is working and that the touch screen is working. So now we can get the front screen stuck down and complete the job. To stick the screen in, I'm just using this double-sided sticky tape, which I've put around the edges. Just need to take the top layer off. And then carefully fit the screen. Just going to refit the main board now, not forgetting to take the self adhesive strip off the back of that ribbon cable. Making sure that the white line is just in line with the connector as we shut that down to lock it in place. Reconnecting the antenna wire. With the phone reassembled now, let's give it a final test. I saw that the battery was a little bit low. I've got the battery charging screen now 30%. Let's try and initialize it. So yes, uh, clearly the screen and the touchpad are working and everything else appears to be good. Se ha un error. A más tarde. Uh, that's easy for you to say.